hi YouTube in this video I'm gonna show you how to make your computer run faster on Windows 10 this also applies to uh, Windows 7 Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 number one delete temporary files from your computer number two disable unwanted startup programs number three defragment or optimize your disk space on your computer number four make sure your recycle bin is always empty number five keep few shortcuts on your computer number six keep utility files in a folder all your utility files on your desktop on a folder so we go through these one after the other number one delete the temporary files look just follow my cursor here on the bottom left corner you can see where it says ask me anything click on this make sure your cursor is blinking and type percentage and this will bring up the temporary folder just click on this and you'll probably see hundreds or thousands of files the reason why you only see three here on my laptop is because I've just deleted all the temporary folders I usually do this on a weekly basis but before I began the recording of this program I deleted mine so if I make an attempt to delete these now they're not going to be deleted because they are all active item on my desktop as you can see temporary or uh, the Explorer itself and then the smart recording as you can see all these are currently attached to the smart recording the one I'm using for these uh, tutorial and also my notepad is open so I'm just gonna give it a try click on these and uh, click on ctrl A to highlight everything all the three items you can see three items are selected and they are about uh, 5.35 megabytes so they're not really using up a lot of space because I've just deleted quite a lot of them uh, now you can click on delete when you click on delete uh, all the files will be deleted but they will go into your recycle bin but what I did what I normally do is I delete everything from the computer so they don't go into my recycle bin and to do this just press on shift delete so when you press on shift delete you'll see are you sure you want you want to permanently delete these three items I just click on yes now let's say I had a lot of files here all the other files will be deleted but it's gonna pop up this screen and say uh, the action cannot be completed because the files is open in smart system menu so what you just need to do once you hit the screen is just to click on escape it's gonna say that for these as well because they are all linked to the smart recording and then escape once you complete this close this that's job done the second thing is to disable unwanted startup programs uh, so in order to do this you need to go into your task manager the oh, fastest shortcut to this is to right click on empty space on the task bar and click on task manager or you can go to the bottom left corner here and type task manager once it's come up just click on this it's gonna bring you to the screen now uh, what I want to show you here is the startup uh, you can see there are different tabs here processes performance app history startup users details and services but let me just quickly uh, brush through these uh, processes now this process is, um, has about four components here CPU memory disk and network with this you can easily tell what application or which of the application is having I impact on your CPU or making use of your CPU resources as you can see here these are the current uh, applications that are open for the notepad is not on right now probably if I open it you will see let me minimize this you can see it's 0 0.3 0 0.4 and if I close it once it's not active it's just gonna go back to zero the smart recorder is recording right now so definitely that's actually making use of some of the CPU resources the task manager is this one that is open itself that is also having very low impact now if you're seeing something about 18 90 or uh, 95 percent that means that uh, there's an application on this computer on your computer that is making that is making use of the CPU and your computer will be very very slow because it's processing a lot of data within a particular seconds or within a particular minute now for the memory memory is the access random access memory this is something like your conscious mind for example if I ask you what did you eat about five minutes or ten minutes ago it's very easy for you to remember but if I ask you what did you eat last month 
uh, on the 1st of January uh, this year you probably want to think about it so that is when uh, the CPU now go into the disk into the disk to pull out that information so you yourself you probably sit down and think about it go back and try to look at what did you eat on the 1st of January so this is the function of this for the network is how much data you're uploading or downloading from the internet currently there's nothing happening on the internet apart from these uh, device association framework that is kind of linking to the internet back and forth because I'm currently connected to the Wi-Fi if you want to see what is going to happen to the network uh, I'm just going to give you an example I'm going to click on the Mozilla no let me use this urge Microsoft Edge put these aside just a few seconds and then pull this aside so we can see see it's already taking up some disk space and then we want to go on the internet pull this aside so we can see how it is downloading or uploading Just gonna open my website. Let's come. And this is the edge. You see how this is gonna go up in just a moment. As you can see 0 0.1 megabyte per second. I'm downloading all of this is running you can see my network is about 5% now because it just keeps on downloading so that is uh, what measure how much data you upload on the internet or you download from the internet so I'm just gonna close this now let's come back to our business okay now let's go to startup the startup is or are the applications that probably the CPU tries to show them when you're turning your computer off or that the CPU attempts to open when you're turning your laptop or your PC on and there's some that has high impact uh, as you can see here or uh, the smart system menu has um, high impact and um, this is low this is low uh, the Microsoft encounter is disabled so what you want to do here is any application that you have installed on your computer that you can see here that they're having an impact on your CPU resources you want to disable them for example you're using Skype uh, Yahoo Messenger or Microsoft OneDrive or all these cloud uh, application they consume high CPU resources so what you want to do is to disable them it's not that they're not going to work they will only work when you use them for example I need to use my HP or solution center I can come here and click on it rather than it running on the background so you want to make sure that they're disabled so you click on these and you can enable or disable it on the bottom right corner here once you have uh, identified all the applications that are running in the background that you don't need that they are coming up on your startup menu and you have disabled them, drop down there. You can just close that part and then let's go back into our menu here. The next one is to defragment or optimize your disk space. Now to do this, what you want to do is to look for your file explorer. Uh, click on this, this folder here. This is going to come up and go into this PC. You can also type it here on the bottom left corner if you want. You can just pull this PC and it's going to come up. It's going to open the same screen for you. And you can see the local disk. Now the local disk where you can see this um, Windows logo, that is where the operating system or Microsoft operating system is residing. And that is where all your files are being managed. So what you want to do here is to right click and go for properties and in properties click on the tools and then here you can see optimize and defragment drive so you just click on this to optimize and we want to optimize local disk C so I'm not gonna do this right now because it's actually take a long time it usually take a long time about uh, 30 minutes to one hour it actually depends sometimes it can go up to two hours depending on how 
uh, defragmented all the files are so if you want to ready to do this uh, just click on optimize and just wait until this is complete as you can see it's analyzing right now running and analyzing after analyzing it to start the process of defragmentation so I'm just gonna stop this right now because I don't want it to run close this once that is done uh, we go to the next item let me close this window now number four make sure your recycle bin is always empty because if it's not empty the processor the CPU will still keep on trying to run them on the background and they will consume they will, they will put more pressure on your operating on your CPU your processing unit uh, so uh, here's your recycle bin here make sure it is empty now number five keep fuel shortcut on your desktop a lot of people keep hundreds of things on the desktop this is your this is my desktop as you can see I only have few programs here so ensure that uh, you keep a uh, few things on your desktop uh, what I usually do is uh, I keep all my utility files in a folder so uh, what you can do in this case is to create a utility as you can see here's a folder called utility I'm just gonna put all of these back just for as an example uh, let's see and uh, I'm just gonna delete this I'm clicking on shift delete you can see there's still nothing in my recycle bin if I click uh, delete uh, it's just gonna come into uh, my recycle bin but I press on shift delete on my keyboard so everything is out of the computer so what you need to do is right click on empty space on your desktop click on new and then folder and then you can name it utility and then put all your files in there now the reason why I do this is let's say when you're turning off your computer the CPU attempt to also shut down all the application you have on your desktop and when you're turning your computer back on the CPU attempts to reopen all these applications but if you keep them in the folder the CPU would not make any attempt to open those applications in the folder or to open the folder for you until the, the computer come back up and you now click on it to open that application I hope that makes sense so this is the reason why it is very good for you to create a folder or keep all the shortcuts or all the uh, music or video files that you have you've got on your computer in if on your desktop in a folder I think that completes uh, this tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed uh, please go to my website www.mattfame.com and sign up share your experience and uh, also comment thank you for listening have a good day bye now